Shabbat Shalom, Yeshua. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to those that I can that's preached the word and all truth and sincerity. Along to Israelite foreigner brothers that are like the heathens. But the line of the false side goes back to the nation of Israel. Which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal Amaf by the lesson. And on today's lesson will be entitled, Surely Oppression Maketh a Wise Man Mad. That's going to go on some precepts and uh, low willing. You brothers and you sisters out there. Be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, this lesson, it just inspired, you know, by, uh, you know, uh, the Akim and myself, you know, group chat, you know, we had that, we, that we have, you know, and our brothers, you know, that we always talk about how we live in the hell, man. You know, by living in this place in America, Babylon the Great, you know, which is nothing but a prison for us Israelites, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, because, you know, the wicked is in bullshit, the so-called white man, so all his laws and legislations benefit him, you know, and, you know, we us Israelites, you know, we're constantly hated on, you know, the Israelite man is looked down upon, you know, everybody, all these heathen nations come over here and, you know, uh, they 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 be mean to us. They 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 hate us, you know. But we understand that all these are the curses, man, because of our disobedience, you know. So I just want to go into a lesson regarding the topic, and um, I'm gonna start from the book Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse seven, and it reads: Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and see it says a wise man, you know, because not every Israelite man on earth is wise, you know, because if you're without the truth, then you're not wise, man. You know, the scriptures will call you simple, you know, because you don't know the nature of your enemies. You don't know who you are. You know, you still think that you're a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, which are bywords that the, that Esau has placed upon us. You know, you still think, you, you still try to um, pursue the American dream, still want to get that great job to pick a fence, which is nothing wrong with having, you know, a good income job. It's nothing wrong with that, but... Our people look at that as a form of salvation, you know, to escape the general uh, generational curses, as they say in the world. But really, the only way out is Yahweh by Shimon Shai and by, uh, by way of this truth, man. You know, so oppression make up a wise man, man, man. The Lord is angry now at the fact that all these, um, all these things in the world is against us, man. You know, from our food, from the air, you know, uh, chemical warfare, a lot of chemicals in our water, our food, you know, processed food. The, our woman is against us. They, you know, Esau allowed our woman liberty over us, you know, by way of child support, alimony, you know, just everything is turned upside down here. And this place needs missiles, man. You know, it says, and a gift destroyed the heart and right, a gift will be a bribe. Such as money, you know, money can destroy an individual's mind, which is a heart, you know, because now that you have gotten that gift by Esau, the so-called white man, you know, a form of a bribe or any type of substance to help you pacify the truth, man, you know, and by you getting that, you know, it destroys your mind because now you don't think you're in captivity. Now you think. You try to be equal with the so-called white man. You don't got no problems with this Esau and these heathens. You think that they are friends because they have given you that gift. You know, but really, you know, it's for you to not accept them of being your enemies and for you to keep continuing to think that this place, America, is your rest, man. You know, and only, will, uh, only a fool will fall for that gift, you know. And um, because our people... Constantly look for Esau for salvation, man. And we go to Lamentations, <clears throat> chapter 4, verse 17. And it reads, As for, for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. 
and our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us. See, so two thirds of our people that's in the world that's that's without the truth. They're looking for a nation that could not save them. You know, they look towards Esau, even the so-called white man. They trust in this, in the system, in this government, in this military, in this FRN notes. You know, in this technology. You know, our people trust in these things, which. By default, by you trusting in the system, you really trust in the so-called white man, you know? And that's why, you know, the Lord said, well, to them that go down to Egypt for help, you know, which e Egypt is in modern-day America. And our people, you know, fully trust in the society, man, you know, because when all hell break loose, Esau is, gonna look, is, is not going to save you, you know? In fact, he's going to be, those that take the sea hip, they're going to be held uh, they're gonna be in the in the, in the, in the state of a derision. They're gonna be at um, getting laughed at by Esau Edom, you know, by by two thirds of Israel taking that sea hit, man, you know. But let's go back to Lamentations five. And I'm just going in the spirit, you know, I didn't form this lesson. Um, but uh, this is Lamentations five one because at the end of the day, we cry unto the Lord, man, you know, and. Before I go into this and just get Psalms 118, I want to get this scripture real quick. You know, because we our mindset is our mindset is past this place, man. You know, we we definitely want this place to be destroyed, but we understand that the prophecy of the Lord has to come to pass. You know, the major prophecy that we know is MOTB, which is the Karagma, also known as the C hip, to be made mandated in America. And throughout the whole world, and then the end will come. Then Jacob's trouble will come, World War Three, and then the Lord gonna take this place out by way of missiles, man. But this is uh, Psalms one eighteen verse eight. It says, "It is better to trust in the Lord Yahweh than to put confidence in man." See, it's way better to put trust in Yahweh by Shimon Shai than to have confidence in man, because only man can do so much. They're limited, but Yahweh by Shimon Shai is not limited, as is written, "All things are possible with the Lord." You know, no things are, uh, nothing, nothing is impossible with Yahweh by Shimon Shah. He can make anything happen, you know. He can make things happen out of no way, you know. So that's why we put our full trust in the Lord, man. So let's go back to Lamentations. Because we are enslaved to our own planet, to our own earth, man. Because the Lord created the earth, created the world for Israel's sake. You know, so the fact that now we know that we're enslaved to our own earth, that's oppression, man. You know, and that make, it makes you angry. But this is uh, Lamentations 5, verse 1. It says, remember, O Yahweh, what has come upon us, consider and behold our reproach. Right? So we want the Yahweh by Shimon Shai to remember what we're going through. You know, we went through the transatlantic slave trade. You know, went to the uh, the Native American um uh, the 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 Indian slave trade, you know the um. When Christopher Columbus came over here, it slaughtered out millions of Native Americans and Latino tribes, you know, which the transatlantic slave trade really started with the the Northern Kingdom, you know, the so-called Latino and the American tribes, then it went down to the Southern Kingdom, of Judah, you know, the Negro tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, you know, the fact that we got to pay taxes, you know, because this is a debt based society, man. Every, you got to pay for everything, you know. Here it is. You can be living at your apartment and your apartment covered with a free um, parking spot, but you still got to make sure your car is registered. Like, you know, just, just a bunch of nonsense, man. You know, you got to pay for parking tolls. You know, you got to pay to travel away. You have to pay to travel on a, on a, on a freeway to go a particular way. That's wicked, man. You know, but Esau, you know, he, no one can get more covetous than Esau, man. This is lust for gain, lust for more, just greedy for gain, man. You know, and that's why the Lord going to take this bitch out. But let's continue. It's like if I keep around, I'm just, you know, just a little angry, man. You know, but let's, let's continue. Um, verse 2, it says, our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. Right, and our inheritance is our land. Our land Israel is turned to strangers, which are the, I can't say the word, but, you know, the, the J-E-W-S word, man. The, the Amalekites, you know, the small hats with the big noses, man, the ones that wear all black. 
they are in our land right now. You know, you know, our land, our actual land, Israel, also known as Jerusalem or Palestine, you know, is, is, is now they, they obtain our land. They got our land right now and they stole our heritage, you know, they stole our nationality, man. You know, that wouldn't make you mad if, you know, if, if, if someone was, for example, identity fraud, which, you know, identity fraud is when someone takes your identity, steals your identity. Wouldn't you be mad if you found out someone did that to you? You know? So that's how we feel as a nation. That That's in the shoot, that, that's in the knowing that, that we know that we're Israelites. You know, we're angry at that. That's, that's very wicked, man. You know, and you deceive the whole world to think that you are the people of the Most High. You are the uh, you are the true Israelites, which you're not. You're imposters. You know. It says our houses turn to aliens, and aliens are strangers, man. You know, so our whole land, you know, <clears throat> you know, even you can apply this into America, because America was once the so-called Native Americans, you know, and Latino uh, tribes land. Now that house, which is which was America, now it's turned to strangers to Esau. Now it's given to Esau, you know, because it was policy for Esau to have a kingdom. But how Esau got this land, America, was by ill-gotten gain, murder, death, robbery, deceit. You know, he got it in a wicked fashion. You know, but let's continue. It says we are orphans and fatherless, and that's the average story of Jake. They live in the hood, for the most part, majority. You know, you got some of my people that grew up with, you know, two parent household, mother and uh, father and mother. But for the most part, it's single parent homes, man, with, with the mother raising the uh, children, which Esau orchestrated, you know. You know, he, he want the father at the house to, to, to uh, you know, to not provide that masculine energy, you know, and to want. The children, the man, the the boy and the girl to grow up being uh, raised by a single mother, man, and that's a and, and that roots out foundation, man, as a, as the scriptures say, you know, because it's complete balance with two of the parents in the household. You got the masculine, which is a father, you know, teach the discipline, masculine to be a man, and a woman, you know, she, you know, she comforts you, you know. Um, you know, just, you know, cleans the house, you know, you know, the mother teaches you things too, but mainly it's the father, you know, it says, but continue, it says, <clears throat> we are orphans and fatherless, our mothers are as widows, man, and widow, and we know widow is a single, a mother that has lost her husband, so, you know, that's single pair, um, single, single pair of homes, man, you know, it says we are drunk, we have drunk in our water for money, our wood is so unto us. It's like our wood is so unto us, right? So our own resources, we are held captive under our own resources, man. You know? We got to buy water. Here it is. The earth is 70% of, uh, I believe it's 70% water. Let's just look it up real quick. I just want to fact check that. Um, how much percent? Okay, say 1%. You know, so about say 1% of the, of the Earth's surface is, is water covered. Yeah, so say 1% of the Earth is covered in water. Why do we have to buy for water? Why do we have to purchase water? In fact, we're purchasing it in, in plastic, which plastic, most plastic contains BPA, you know, which is a chemical that, uh, you know, causes estrogen, you know, to form in your bloodstream, man, in your body, you know, and that can affect the man because a man is supposed to only produce uh, testosterone and women have estrogen. So that makes men effeminate, emotional, you know. So Esau has a lot of, lot of blood, a lot, um, lot to pay for, man, you know. It says our uh, wood is sown to us, right, because when we do a barbecue, we got to cut down the wood, we got to buy, not cut down, but bring most of the part, we got to buy the wood from the storehouse and from your food for lessons. You know, wood is everywhere. Trees is everywhere. We shouldn't have to buy that, you know? It says our necks are under persecution. 
We labor and have no rest. And that's right. And that's the average story of our people, man. That's why the scriptures say that, you know, they have worn out the saints and the most high. Because our next are constantly under persecution. You know, we, we constantly getting defamed in the media, which our people are all wicked. The two-thirds of, the two -thirds of Israel, because the Lord even said, among our people are found wicked men. But the way Esau portrays us Israelites in the media, he makes he make he make it seem like the uh, uh, to the whole world that we're all like that. Which no, you know, all Israelites are not criminals and thieves and murderers. No, that that don't apply to all of us. You know, that only applies to th the wicked Israelites, man. You know, but he 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 wants to get us in a, all into one. You know, to make it seem like we're the we're the criminals of the earth, but really it's him, you know? And we labor, we have no rest. I mean, we got to work these jobs, nine to fives. Somebody's working six days. Somebody's working seven days. Somebody's, brothers is, somebody's working two uh, two jobs, you know? So we just need rest, man, you know? And I just end off on that. You know, there remain of a rest for the people of the most high. It's like y'all can once again, you know, I know I'm a little mumbling my lesson, but you know, you know, when you're angry, you know, just sometimes the words don't come out right, but you know, a little willing to still make it sense. But uh let's go to Hebrews four and verse nine. And it reads, There remain therefore a rest to the people of Yahweh. Yeah. And who are the people of the most side of Israelites? So there's gonna be a rest, you know. The rest is gonna come in the kingdom, man. You know, so that's what we're looking for—that rest, that eternal rest, that eternal vacation. We ain't gonna never have to work again, man. We gonna never have to uh, be called Negroes, Spics, Latinos, and Americans. We ain't gonna never be called those bowers ever again because those are curses. You know, we're gonna be known as the Israelites from our prospective tribes, man. The people in the Most High. You know, the the sons of God whom the Lord made a covenant with through sacrifice, we're gonna be known by those by those, by our biblical names again. Not these bywords, man. We're gonna have our own planets, we're gonna have many lands, all the resources, gold, silver, precious stones, billions of wives, billions of concubines. Man, it's gonna be unlimited for us in the king. You know? So it's it's well worth you know, going through hell right now because we understand what's on the other side for us. So, you know, low and aqua is edified. And uh, until next time, shallow one.